Alright guys, it's that time of the year where we discover the new features of Adobe Illustrator 2023 starting with a new tool or a feature it's called intertwine so let's say for example we would like to create an interlocking shape like that or intertwined shape like that where the strings will be going inside each others now we can easily create a similar effect in adobe illustrator all you need to do is select your circles these are plain circles as you can see and now in order to create that effect we need to go to object then you'll find intertwine in here then we're gonna select make and instantly you'll find that tool in here which is looking like a lasso tool then let's zoom in a bit and let's say we'd like to get that part to the back we'll be drawing a rough and <laughs> we'll be drawing a rough and terrible circle like that one in here a rough selection if you will and illustrator will do the magic for us we can bring that part to front just like so and maybe that one to back and if you change it your mind anytime you can redraw the part again and it's gonna be changing that result for you so it's really an easy tool as you can see guys and now once you're happy with your results you can go ahead and select your move tool again or selection tool but let's say you'd like to re-edit that one once again you can go to object intertwine you can select edit where you'll get that tool back once again then drawing like so will be changing your results also you can hold shift key and start drawing like that if you'd like to get a precise shape and instead of these terrible <laughs> instead of these terrible circles drawn by your mouse also you can release that shape anytime by going to object intertwine then select release just after selecting your shape with move tool or selection tool i keep mixing between photoshop and illustrator so let's do that release and here you go also now in adobe illustrator 2023 you can export more 3d formats that could be compatible maybe with adobe substance for instance or any other 3d application so let's select that shape in here we just created that one from our original circles by going to effect then selecting 3d and materials extrude and bevel but as you can see we already have that effect enabled in here so we're gonna be skipping that part and going right away to the export part where you can open your export panel asset export panel then we're gonna be dragging that shape all the way to here and from these formats you can find that you have usda and gltf which weren't really supported before also now in adobe illustrator 2023 we do have quick actions or automation if you will and this could be saving us so much time to create some effects so for example here we have a type let's select that one then let's go ahead and click on that magnifier in here then here you can find quick actions if you can't really find them right away you can click on that home where you can find quick actions and i think adobe will be adding more they are starting that new feature so for example you can click on new glow text and innocently you'll get that effect and you can even refine that either with Proberts panel which you can find in here so for instance we can increase distance or spaces between our letters or from appearance panel where we can edit that stroke or even color so you can double click in here and change maybe color to orange or so maybe blue then you can keep editing different elements like different strokes in here and so on you can undo that pressing command or control z and try a different effect like maybe old school which i really don't like <laughs> we forgot to select our text so let's apply that and as usual we can refine that from here as well so let's increase spaces once more like so also speaking of effects now you can copy and paste from adobe illustrator to indesign while maintaining your style so for example here we have a different font and it doesn't have a quick action effect because it's not going to be working in indesign yet here we're talking about specific color a font maybe like silicon let's copy that pressing command or control c going to adobe indesign let's select our type tool 
creating a type area pressing command or control V now we can click on that T icon in here then applying that effect and as you can see we have the same font and the same color and the same size as well also like Adobe Photoshop 2023 now we do have share for review option in Adobe Illustrator 2023 and you can see that button in here it's so visible it's in blue as you can see bright blue which you can make neutral by the way in your preferences so we can click in here share you can either share for review or even you can invite to edit which is really handy if you're collaborating with other designers as well so these are the new features in Adobe Illustrator 2023 Go ahead and experiment with these new features, especially that intertwine feature. And as always guys, stay creative.